Hi everyone, it's Melissa from the Hug Strap. I'm here today to teach you how to play Pinball Wizard. This is the last song in our August 22 The Who Song Challenge, and I left it last for a reason. It's because it is one of the more difficult songs to play. It is um, probably one of the most famous Who songs, and it also was a viewer request, which is why our um, Who Song Challenge was um, extended into the beginning of September. But the rhythm on this is tricky, I'm not gonna lie, so it's gonna take a little bit of practice to get it down. So let's get started. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you're gonna to wanna to do that so you don't miss any more uh, song tutorials. And um, you're also gonna find in the description box below this video, a downloadable PDF tab so you can follow along with me. Chords will also be up in the corner and um, you'll find links to all of the other songs in the Who Song Challenge. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to make a small apology and tell you that this is not the entire intro for the song. If you listen closely, there, he plays like some, he plays about eight chords to start. They didn't translate completely perfectly to the ukulele and it just sounded a little funny to me. So I decided to leave it out. So if you really want to look them up, you can find them and I will put a link to um, the tab that helped me kind of create this tab for the ukulele, the guitar tab that I converted it from. Um, and you can try it out for yourself if you know see if you you like it but i decided just to make it simpler and just stick with um beginning part of the intro which will then lead into the verse so you're going to be making a b sus4 chord and the way you do that is by barring the e and a strings at the second fret with your index finger and then you're gonna take your ring finger to the g string fourth fret and your pinky to the uh c string fourth fret now to make your life a little bit easier in the transition i also want you to plop down your middle finger on the third fret of the C string so that when you go from the B sus4 to the B, you just have to lift up that pinky, okay? So it's gonna be like this, it's Now, that's me doing it fast and at the correct tempo. You're gonna be slowing it down to get, get it started. So all I'm doing is a down, up, that I did a little something just different to make the um, to get that kind of flamenco feel right um, where I'm going a little fast with the down up down down up down up down so this just takes practice that's why I did it many times so start out slow down up down practice shake out your fingers because it gets a little bit hard after you're practicing for a while for that thumb all right but we're gonna do that four times for the intro and then you do it one more time to start the verse so let's start the verse it's going to be we're gonna go down to an A sus4 which is going to be our middle finger on the second fret of the G string and our ring finger on the second fret of the C string you're gonna leave that index finger loose so that you can get to that A quickly because it's gonna be A sus4 to A. From All right, then we're gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go over this whole verse one more time just so we can get what it feels like when you play it in real time. Um, and then you're gonna go to a G sus4. Now I would make your G chord as you usually do, putting your index finger on the C string second fret, your middle finger on the A string second fret, and your ring finger on the um, E string third fret and then I would plop your pinky down on the A string fourth fret so that way again you can just lift up that pinky so it would be G sus4 to G um ain't, ain't nothing like an amusement all right then you're gonna go down same chord um pat you know positioning that you did for the G sus4 you're just gonna move it down here so it's an F sus4 or F sharp sus4 and you're gonna do the same thing that a mean pin then it gets a little trickier all right so what are you doing oh 
Oop, I played it wrong. There it is. <laughs> All right, now for the next part. Sure plays a mean pinball. It's gonna be a B, down, up, A, down. Now we're gonna play our D a little bit differently. Instead of doing this, where we just do the G, C, and A strings at the second fret, we're gonna borrow the entire second fret and plop our pinky down um, here on the fifth fret. And then you're gonna move it up to the fourth fret for the E. So it'll be, um, sure plays a mean pinball banner. Do it D once, go up to the E. So again, it would be. I'm gonna try that again down here where it's more comfortable. I hadn't put my pinky finger at the right place, it has to be at the seventh fret. So again, it's. What's that E and you're going. Verse in real time together. So we start with that B sus4. Alright, you do the exact same thing for the second verse, okay? So it's he stands like a statue. which is an E to a B. Now you'll notice I'm doing um, the kind of normal E that you usually see where you have your index finger on the A string uh, second fret and you're gonna place your middle ring and pinky on the G, C, and E strings fourth fret respectively. Just like that. You can also do the other E I just showed you. It just depends on what is more comfortable for you. I figure since I'm going back and forth between those two positions at the second fret for the E and the B, this is faster. So it's, he's a He's a pinball wizard that has to be a twist. He's a pinball wizard that has G. Such a submarine. You go to the D, and then you're going to go between the D, a D sus4, and a D. So that D sus4 is your second finger at, or I'm sorry, your, yeah, your middle finger at the second fret of the C string, and your ring finger at the third fret of the E string, okay? So you just go back and forth in between them and you just lift up that index finger. So it would be, um, such a supple wrist. All right, so again, it's gonna be down strums. He's a, pin, oh, he's a pinball wizard that has to be a twist. He's a pinball wizard that has to be a twist. You go to the bridge now um based i was you know basing this obviously off of the guitar tab and he plays a c add nine it's a d to a c add nine it doesn't sound right to my ear so i think i'm just gonna make it a c you can see which one works better for you but it's um okay then you go back to the verse and it's Just the E and the B. I thought I was the ballet table king, but I just handed my pinball crown to him. All right, now here you're going to be going up a key. So he's going to do um, the same pattern, pattern that we did for the verse, but he's going to be doing it between the D sus4 and the D. So it goes like this. <laughs> One more. 
hard to start the um, verse up a key. So it's even on my favorite table, you can be my best. Even on my favorite table, you can be my best. Even on my favorite table, you can be my best. All right, now we've got it on it three times. We're gonna go to a C sus four, which is made by going zero zero one three. So I've got my index finger on the first fret of the E string, my pinky finger or my ring finger, either one on the third fret of my A string, okay? And um, then I'm gonna go to the C. His disciples say I'm him, and he just does the rest. Now I'm going back to that, a B flat sus four, which is the same as our B, B sus four, only moved up to the first fret, all right? He's got crazy flip of fingers, and I've seen him fall to a B flat. He's got crazy flip of fingers, and I've seen him fall, back to the A sus four, that death of a nine kid to the A. Now you're going to go D, D, F, D, F, C, G, and then you're going to let it ring out because then it does this kind of boop, 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 and it fades out. So let's just go over that part one more time. I'm going to go from the A sus four to the A. That down on the nine key, Joel plays a mean pinball. And then that's the end of the song. Um... So that's a lot to learn. It's going to be a lot of rhythm. You're going to have to just go over that pattern over and over again. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments. I am happy to help. Um, thank you so much for joining our Who Song Challenge. It's been a lot of fun to learn all these songs with you. Uh, they're one of my favorite bands of all time. The reason why we did this was actually because my husband and I are in a band called the Margaret Hooligans, and we wrote a song called Pete and Roger, which was a tribute to Pete Townsend and Roger Daltrey of The Who. So it's been a lot of fun to kind of like combine these two things together and, um, and learn all these Who songs and play them for you in an effort to kind of promote an awareness of our band and our song. Anyway, until next time, see you later. Bye.